so anye tvevam janantah anye tvevam janantah shrutvanye bhya upasate shrutvanye bhya upasate te pichati tarantyeva te pichati tarantyeva mrityum shruti parayanah mrityum shruti parayanah so the word meanings by his grace shila prabhu pad anye anye others others tu tu but but evam evam thus thus ajana aj, ajanantah ajanantah without spiritual knowledge without spiritual knowledge shrutva shrutva by hearing by hearing anyebhyah anyebhyah from others from others upasate upasate begin to worship begin to worship te te de de api api also also ch ch and and atitaranti atitaranti transcend transcend eva eva certainly certainly mrityum mrityum the path of death the path of death shruti parayanah shruti parayanah inclined to the process of hearing inclined to the process of hearing now the translation again there are those who again there are those who although not conversant in spiritual knowledge although not conversant in spiritual knowledge begin to worship the supreme person begin to worship the supreme person upon hearing about him upon hearing about him from others from others because of the tendency because of their tendency to hear from authorities to hear from authorities they also transcend they also transcend the path of birth and death the path of birth and death uh, so this shloka talks about hearing can help one transcend birth and death this verse is particularly applicable to modern society because in modern society there is practically no education in spiritual matters some of the people may appear to be atheistic or agnostic or philosophical but actually there is no knowledge of philosophy shila prabhupad in his purport adds that as for the common man if he is a good soul then there is a chance for advancement by hearing this hearing process is very important lord chaitanya who preached krishna consciousness in the modern world great, gave great stress to hearing because if the common man simply hears from authoritative sources he progress especially according to uh, according to lord chaitanya if he hears the transcendental vibration hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare it is stated therefore that all men should take advantage of hearing from the realized souls and gradually become able to understand everything the worship of the supreme lord will then undoubtedly take place lord chaitanya has said that in this age no one needs to change his position but one should give up the endeavor to understand the absolute truth by speculative reasoning one should learn to become the servant of those who are in knowledge of the supreme lord if one is fortunate enough to take shelter of a pure devotee hear from him about self realization and follow in his footsteps one will gradually elevated one will be gradually elevated to the position of a pure devotee 
In this verse particularly, the process of hearing is strongly recommended, and this is very appropriate. Although the common man is often not as capable as so-called philosophers, faithful hearing from an authoritative person will help one transcend this material existence and go back to the Godhead, back to home. In the Vedic tradition, hearing from the saints has been highly emphasized as a powerful tool for spiritual elevation. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, King Parikshit asks Shukadeva the question, how can we purify the undesirable, undesirable entities in our hearts, such as lust, anger, greed, envy, hatred, etc.? And Shukadev in the in Canto One, verse uh, Chapter Two and Verse Seventeen, he replies that Shrinvatam Swakataham Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana Pradayantahastato. Parikshit, simply hear the descriptions of the divine names, forms, pastimes, virtues, abodes, and saints of God from a saint. This will naturally cleanse the heart of the unwanted dirt of endless lifetimes. When we hear from the proper source, we develop authentic knowledge of spirituality. Besides this, the deep faith of the saint from whom we hear begins to flow into us. Hearing from the saints is the easiest way of building our faith in the spiritual truths. Further, the enthusiasm of the saint for spiritual activity also brushes unto us. Enthusiasm for devotion provides the force that enables the sadhak to shrug aside the inertia of material consciousness and cut through the obstacles on the path of sadhana. Enthusiasm and faith in the heart are the foundation stones on which the palace of devotion stands. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification. If you'd like to join our classes every day, please check the details in the description section of this video. We look forward to serving you.